Hello everyone and welcome to this another episode of 3D Prototyping in Unity. My name is Kasanas. In the last episode, we looked at building some props. We built ourselves some of the boxes, some of the cubes, that kind of thing. But we also built ourselves a TV screen that displayed pre-rendered video. In today's episode, I'd like to take a look at how we can add additional cameras into this scene. Alright, let's get started. Okay guys, so our game is coming together here. We've got our character moving around. I've got a bunch of assets within here to give it some little bit of an environment, our blinking eyeball video. What I'd like to do now is create a terminal, kind of a computer terminal that acts like a security camera. And it's going to display, uh, you probably saw it in the, in the original videos, it's going to display uh, uh, a section of the game. Okay, it's not going to display pre-rendered video, it's actually going to display uh, a section of the game. It's going to look through a different camera and it's going to show an image of what it sees and through that camera on a computer screen. Okay, I've given you guys all of the assets you need to be able to create this. Let's go into our models and let's grab a couple of things here. Let's grab this terminal, bang, right there, and uh, let's, let's make it two times bigger, two, two, and two. And let's put it over here in the corner right here in front of us for now and let's rotate it 180 degrees 180 great and let's put it right like that okay just like that and that's gonna be our actual terminal um, I already set up the material for it you guys have all the textures you need just slap the materials in place this is actually using let's take a look it's actually using the material called terminal mat slap the slap the textures that I've given you in place and it'll come out looking exactly like this Okay, I want to add to this as well. Let's go in here and find it. I want to add to this as well a screen. So let's put it in here. I'm just going to drop it right in terminal actually. Uh, and I'm going to make it um, 1.25 and uh, 1.25. And let's see if that's big enough. Let's move this up here. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Okay, so I'm going to add this screen in place. And this is going to be our, our terminal screen. Okay, I'm going to grab this extra one here, security camera. I'm going to drag it. I'm going to drop it on terminal. And let's make this thing really small, 0.05, because it's giant, 0 0.05, and 0 0.05. All right, and we'll just drag this up in place. Obviously, this is not a real camera. <laughs> uh, it's not going to work in any way. It's just representing it for the players. So the player kind of figures out, oh, that thing's seeing me. All right, let's just do it like this. It doesn't really matter where this thing is. Let's just do it like that. So the player's going to see it and say, oh, that's where I'm being recorded from. That's where I'm being recorded from. Minus 90. Minus 35. Let's make it. Okay. Nice round numbers. And obviously zero. Okay, so that is our basic setup of the terminal. Let's go into the terminal itself right here. I'm going to go one layer below to the actual mesh, and I'm going to add a component, and I'm going to add my physics, and I'm going to add my box collider. That's going to give me a box collider around this object so my player can't actually walk through it. Okay, and I'm not going to worry about the camera, and I'm not going to worry about this terminal screen simply because uh, the player can't actually access that. They can't actually bang into that. Uh, one more thing on the screen, I'm going to add... Let me go game object. I'm going to add a create a 3D object, a plane. And I'm going to drag this and drop it onto the actual screen. Bang, right there. And we'll call this thing here um, comp screen. And once again, this comp screen is going to be used to, uh, it's pretty big. Uh, let's try 0.18 maybe. Uh, and x is going to be 0.1. Oops, point one, and we want to make sure this thing is rotated this way, and that should be rotated minus 90. Let's move it in place here. Let's zero this out. Zero and zero and zero. All right, oh, that actually fits really great. <laughs> All right, perfect. That fits great. Okay, so we're going to actually leave it like that. Uh, and that is going to be our screen. Just like we had a, a screen over here that displayed pre-rendered video, we're going to use this comp screen, this plane, to display the actual camera, uh, the camera that we're looking at, okay, that we're looking through. So that being said, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to add game object. I'm going to add an additional camera. Camera. Uh, and, and you can see as soon as I add this camera, I'll, I'll, change, this to, uh, I'll change this to comp camera so we can see it and I'll drag my comp camera onto terminal 
Now we can see the second that we put it in there, it automatically overrode our game camera. And once again, that is because of the fact that we, uh, because of the fact that we are are overriding it with the depth. So if I actually put this, you know, at, at minus 10 or whatever, we'll go back to see our original camera. We don't want to do that. We actually want to leave this for now at zero. Okay, that's perfectly fine. It's overriding our camera, but that's perfectly fine. What we want to do is give it an object that it's going to render to instead. So right now it's rendering to our screen, and we don't want that. Instead, we want to render it to a target texture, okay? So we want to create a texture that it can render to. Let's go to textures. Actually, let's go to materials instead. Let's put this in materials. It'll probably be easier to find here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click and I'm going to say create. And it's going to say create what? And I want to create a render texture. Bam! I'm going to click that. And let's just give this a name for now. Let's give this a, let's call this um, terminal, terminal 1. Call it terminal one. We're going to have to create a new render texture for each one of these cameras that we add, uh, and the reason being is if you don't, and well, let, let me show you. <laughs> Rather than tell you, let me show you. So we got ourselves our comp camera right here, and we currently have our terminal one as our render texture. What I can do instead is I can take this render texture, I can drag terminal one, and I can drop it in place right here. Now, immediately we can see that our game camera is once again showing properly. If I hit play now. We're going to see through our game camera. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, so that's fixed. But what we don't have yet is the actual camera displaying anything on this screen. Obviously, we have to do something about that. I'm going to right click, I'm going to say create, and I'm going to create a brand new material. And I'm going to call this material, uh, I shouldn't have clicked off of it, but I did. Uh, I call this one terminal one. Let's call this, let's call this material um, screen terminal one. All right, I'm naming them the same. I'm naming this one and this one similarly, Terminal 1 and Screen Terminal 1, to make sure that I can always have those two linked together. Okay, now, what do I want to do? I want to make sure that this screen is showing the right stuff. That's what I want to make sure, that it's showing the actual right stuff. So in order to do that, in order to do that, uh, I'm going to change this Screen Terminal, first of all, to, uh, once again, an unlit, an unlit texture. Oops, not, not UI, sorry, unlit texture. And that's going to allow me to drag, and again, anything I want into this location. I'm going to drag Terminal 1 into that location. Okay, It's going to turn this color. It's going to turn pink like that. So that's perfectly fine. Now, what that means is that camera, let's find our comp camera, and let's put it somewhere we can, we can kind of figure out where we're looking at. Uh, let's, uh, let's spin this around, and let's look down on the character. Okay. That will probably work just fine. Let's put back it up a little tiny bit. I don't know why these things break all the time. Let's move it back here and across here. Actually, we want to be either above or below that camera. So that's perfectly fine right there. All right, so now we're looking through that camera, and we're actually seeing what that camera is going to be seeing. The last thing we need to do is actually add that material. So we created our brand new material. Uh, which was called uh, Screen Terminal 1. We want to go into our actual comp screen right here, and we want to change from the default texture into that existing one. Okay? If I hit play right now, we can actually see, well, our screen's upside down. <laughs> but anyway, we can see that we're actually seeing what that, that camera is seeing in that terminal screen. Okay? Obviously, we want to flip this thing 180 degrees. Z180. Is that right? Did I move it somewhere? Is it backwards now? Let's see. Yes, it's backwards now. So I don't want to flip it 180. I want to flip something else here. Let's put this back to zero for a second. So I want to keep that one. Let's get this in here to zero. And let's just move this down. That's still upside down. Nah, that's perfect. All right. Hit play. And there is my character running back and forth. I'm not running the right way, so something's still backwards. Uh, which one is it? Is it got to put a negative in here? A negative scale? You know what? Let me go back and take a look at my original to see what I did. Because I can't remember. I ain't smart like that. Terminal plane. Yes, I put in a negative in the X. That's all I did. Put a negative X value. There. Now I hit play. And my screen is now showing my character running past the terminal. 
Awesome. That's exactly what I wanted to do, and that's how easy it was. Now, what you're going to do afterwards, you're going to grab your terminal. You're going to grab it. You're going to drag your terminal into prefabs. Okay. Now, if you try and add additional terminals in place, the problem is you're going to have to remake. You're going to have to make additional uh, terminal textures, so additional screen terminal textures and additional uh, and additional terminal one textures. If you don't, every time you add this prefab into the game, you're going to override the existing one. Okay, so you want to make sure that you update each of these terminals with the appropriate uh, materials and textures. Okay, guys, that's it. That's how easy it is. We've got an additional camera in the scene. Now, if you are working on mobile, you want to be very, very careful. We added an additional camera here on PC or Mac or whatever you're doing it on, and there's not really that big of a performance hit. But every camera that you add to mobile is a huge performance hit. You've got to be very, very careful and really consider whether or not you want this camera or not. This is a funny little effect. That's all it really is, and I'm really just doing it so you guys can see how these cameras work. That's really why I'm doing it. Be very careful when, when you're adding it and how you're adding it. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Hopefully, you guys are now putting together some really awesome games. I can't wait to see them. If you are, mention them in the comments. Send me a link. I'd love to see it. Anyway, thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below. And if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.